Okay, once you get a food mill, here's the recipe. I've got a baked sweet potato. I've got brown sugar. I've got water. And I got a pinch of cinnamon. That's it. We're going to take this sweet potato. We're going to cut off the top and bottom and very quickly give it a little bit of a peel here. Uh, sweet potatoes are very nutritious, very healthy, and I've never met a kid that didn't like to eat sweet potatoes. Uh, once we get this sweet potato peeled, we're going to chop it up into some smaller pieces and uh, we're going to run it through the food mill, add the other ingredients. I'm going to use the microwave as well for this recipe, just a little bit. And you want to remove any uh, brown spots or bad spots off your sweet potato, which, uh, which happen just naturally. You know, they're grown in the ground and they're not all exactly perfect, but they are very healthy, very good for you. There's my sweet potato. I'm just going to cut it into some small chunks like this to make it go through the food mill a little bit easier. And you're, you're, going, to you're going to roast these sweet potatoes at around 350 or so. Okay, now get the food mill ready to go here. Uh, when you buy one of these food, food mills, it comes packed with more than one blade. This is spring loaded generally. So you just give this a push down and a little twist. The unit comes out like this and your, your different uh, plates come out. We're going to be using the uh, medium course as fine for this particular uh, recipe. This goes right in here, it locks in place. This goes right in here, and it's spring-loaded. A lot of uh, interest in food mills, and a lot of people don't understand them, but I'll tell you what, it's, it's a pretty easy tool to use once you practice with it. This goes round and round. Uh, it's gonna go it's gonna go this way so it smashes the food down into the, uh, the screen food goes in like this just drop it all in both sides is fine and you give it a crank so I'll show you very quickly here start to crank it around and around and the food gets smashed through Basically, you're forcing the food through, and you might use your fingers a little bit. And you might also use a spatula to force it through. You can see it coming out the bottom there. That's what we're looking for, for baby food. Your kid's going to love it. It's healthy, wholesome, natural, and very easy uh, to make your own. I could probably make uh, four or five of those little jars here for about a dollar, be guessing. So making your own is going to save you some money, but also, the other thing is, you know what your kid's eating. And of course, you can see by my ingredients, I'm not using any cornstarch or corn syrup, artificial sweeteners, or any of these other things that you don't really know what the heck's going to happen or if it's good for you. So I'm not a big fan of all these additives, and I try not to buy anything with tons of corn syrup, uh, Partially hydrogenated fats, very bad for you. So, food mill here is uh, working good for us. And you can see we forced most of our sweet potato through. I'm going to finish up the recipe for you now here. Very, very simple. We're going to be putting brown sugar and water. I'm going to mix these together. And I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, I microwave this brown sugar and water together. I'm going to put it right in. I'm going to put a pinch of cinnamon, and that's it. Okay, so that's the finished baby food. And the, the last step, of course, is a tasting. Just uh, grab yourself a tasting spoon, give a little taste, and if you like it, your baby's going to like it too. Mmm, delicious. Soft, smooth, perfect texture, perfect taste. They're going to love it. Visit the website, get your uh, food mills, high heat spatulas, mixing bowls, anything else you might need. Tell them the chef sent you, and uh, thanks for watching.